Hi, I'm Zin. In this video, I will show you how you can create the remote navigation on Elementor here. Uh, so when I click this button, you can see it go to the next image. And then when I click this button, it will go backward here. Uh, it's really simple by using the symbol JavaScript. And I will show you how you can do it on your website. So let's do it together. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. As you can see, I already log into my WordPress. And here is the section we will custom the remote navigation. So I believe my code can apply for image carousel and loop carousel here. So for example here, I using the image carousel here. And you can see right now my navigation here none. So there's no navigation on the uh, image carousel here. And you can see this is the one we need to custom. And so uh, let's do it right now. So first I need the container I will put it right here you can after finish the video I believe you know how to apply the code and you can custom whatever you want so in this video I should make fast and I will use the image to try make the button so I apply the uh, container right here and then right now I will add the image so in the image here you can use it at the button if you don't have the graphic image so you can use the button icon whatever you want uh, but for the video I have another sample here so I will use the graphic is the arrow right here I select that one uh, you don't see the arrow because it's black so I will change this one to be white background right here and when it's hover I want it to have the background change to green color like this okay and then I will uh, add the batting to the uh, image I will use this is like 3 3 10 and 10 for the left and right so this is just the video I test before so I know the number here but like you can use any batting or design as you want and for this video, uh, video, I will use this image arrow here. I should want it only 80% width here. So after that, I will duplicate this one. And I will make the arrow uh, from left to right. Uh, I change the image here to be the next arrow. So I use this one. So I use the SVG five, by the way. And I select this so right now we have the reverse slide and the next slide here and then right now I will go here click to the container I will choose the direction to be horizontal right here and after that I will put a space between here and gap here I put one so I just want one pixel between them here and for here I will remove the batting here as you can see uh, so I put the batting top margin top to be 50 to see it easily and right now we already have the navigation right here and the second part is you need to go to my website here I put all the ID and the code is here you just copy and paste to your element here so let me show you so right now in the website I will link this website in the uh, video below so you can copy the work I do here so for this one we copy the ID to put it on the reveal button here we go to reveal button right here go to advanced see that ID copy the ID right here do the same with the next button here copy come back here go to the next button 
go to advanced CSS ID copy right here so right now we have the ID in bold image here and we need the ID in the carousel as well so for the carousel we use the carousel target here because we will target this carousel to apply the remote navigation so we go to advanced go to CSS ID and then base the CSS ID here okay so we already finished the as CSS ID to bow navigation here and the carousel right here the next one we will add the HTML uh, sorry we uh, we will add the JavaScript code here so I use the HTML and wrap it here and I go to my website just copy the script I have right now I put this right here and update let's review go down to the section and then when I click next here you see it right now it's working right now okay uh, we had a problem like you can see right now if I hover here you cannot see the mouse is changing cursor right here we need to add a CNS to make it change so we go to my website here I have the CNS code right here so just copy the code here, um, CNS right now and then for this example I just use the base CNS right here to use for the sample right here I just made the CNS right here update but right now you see the cursor right now is changed to the the pointer here and this make it look like the button you can use the button uh, to make it change right now it's really pretty and you can uh, like creative like do whatever you have you have the button you have the icon uh, you can apply the ID to bow uh, button and then you apply the CNS uh, uh, ID target to the carousel right here uh, for this moment I for this moment for the video uh, it's working uh, for both carousel and loop carousel but uh, I don't know in the future the code gonna working as well or not because element uh, element that will be up there so many versions you know in the future they have new version come up maybe the code is changed so maybe we need to find and rewrite the code in the future to make it working but from now the video is public and uh, I test everything is working right now you can use the code for your project it's free on my website so that's it for the video if you see the video is helpful please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video thank you